is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas and today we're going to be talking about an up and coming penny stock that is truly making some ripples. It is a low cost, high quality, unbelievable penny stock that is doing some amazing things in the financial industry and it is really, it is coming on scene. Currently it is trading as TSNP to Soro Enterprises and it will be making a transition because it is going to be merging with a company called Humble and it is going to be trading eventually as HMBL. I look forward to all this. I am absolutely excited to provide you information on this stock. So if you're interested, stay tuned right after this. Before we dive in and start talking financial services, I ask that you guys smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below, and now it's time to get into the video. Let's go. My voice is starting to go away, but that is no excuse for me not to provide a video. I'm super pumped about this penny stock. I truly am. There is a ton of backing behind it. I see it all the time. You know, there's a tight niche group that I talk to on Twitter, and this is definitely one stock that they have been talking about a ton. And so, of course, I had to provide this amazing thing to you. Now, we're going to jump right into this. I do want to let you guys know it is based in the financial services. And when we start to really dive into this thing, you're going to see that a lot of people have compared this to a PayPal or a Venmo or, you know, other cash apps that are out there. You know, this is a company that really will explain why they're different. And I've seen many YouTube videos and many people that talk about how it is very similar. And it does have probably some things that are common, but what makes them stand out? Well, let's just dive in and we'll find out. So the mission of Humble and Humble Hubs is to deliver high quality, low cost digital payments and financial services. The Humble Network was designed to support Vertical markets such as government, banking, wireless, and merchants in locations like Latin America, Caribbean, Asia, and Africa who are seeking to migrate to digital payment and financial technologies to help reduce costs and improve settlement speeds for customers. So a little similar right there, but here we go. The Humble mobile app delivers borderless transactions by integrating multiple currencies, payment methods, banks, blockchain, and financial services providers into one click for the customer. Humble provides greater access and portability than the U.S. only mobile wallet providers such as Venmo and Zelle. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I actually am a current user of Venmo, but a very distinct piece of information right there provides greater access and portability than the US only mobile wallet providers such as Venmo. And so as you can see, that is a US only. This is a company that is trying to go international. This is a company that is trying to really make a massive difference in, in more than just the United States. For those customers without a smartphone, Humble Hubs will allow participating merchants to deliver contactless payments, text ordering and money services across the full pyramid of end users in these markets. We didn't build Humble for the 350 million digital customers using PayPal, but for the 7 billion people for whom money has a totally different set of global pathways, technology access points, and cost structures, according to the CEO of Humble, Brian Foote. Brian Foote, holy smokes, great CEO, has a huge vision for this company, super pumped about following him and just seeing how he leads this company. Uh, absolutely amazing. Really, really excited to see Brian Foot, you know, really wrangle this thing in and see what he's able to do. You know, he has a massive background when you're talking finances and when you're talking about building companies, um, kind of being a part of that. And so that's a re another reason why I was excited to really kind of dive deep and provide this video for you guys. We are going to dive into a timeline of fantastic. I bet that's all I can really say. There is a lot of good information that I'm going to provide you here, and it's all going to be based on some very significant dates. Um, obviously, there was a ton that I could have presented in this, but I'm going to specifically start with June 25th. And well, the reason is you're going to find out. Humble founders Brian Foote and Michelle Rivera noticed a major gap 
between the U.S. and emerging markets regarding mobile payment. Humble uses a mobile wallet that connects debit, credit, and digital dollars with a point-of-sale POS system called Humble Hubs to instantly connect the way money moves between consumers and merchants in markets such as Latin America, Africa, India, and Oceania. Uh, Humble is working on Fortune 500 partnerships and was featured by the UN 2030 agenda. And so the biggest piece that I got from this was that they were actually, you know, mentioned in Forbes um, and as a rising startup company. So that is a big piece right there. If Forbes is coming out and putting you on a list of potential successful companies and basically putting you on a watch list, I think that's very, very significant. So now what we're going to do is jump in and this is where it gets really good. You're going to see some very consecutive quick happening dates and a lot is going on. So November 19th, Tesoro Enterprises um, announced that Humble LLC and Bexis Bank have agreed to a joint venture to expand their digital customer and merchant services divisions between the United States and Latin America, reducing payment costs and processing speeds for customers across these gateways. Headquartered in Sao Paulo, Brazil, Bexis is specialized in integrating local payments processing and FX transactions for global businesses and processing an estimated $7.6 billion per year in international transactions. That's a, that's a lot of cheddar right there. Through a unique API platform, Bexis solution provides the collection of Brazilian currency via local payment methods, helping companies to connect with customers in the digital world. And so as you can see right there, really the significance to kind of what I'm talking about. You're starting to see some other, you know, foreign countries climb on board. And this is going to be very, very impactful. It says Humble, a U.S.-based global payments network that was recently named a Forbes startup to watch in 2020, which we just talked about, is launching a Humble mobile wallet and Humble Hubs contactless merchant software platform to reduce the time and cost of sending, receiving, and exchanging money. Despite the rapid consumer adoption of mobile applications like Uber, TikTok, and Instagram in Brazil, the vertical of domestic and cross-border payments remains a core element of friction for Brazilian consumers and merchants that need more mobile applications like Humble, says Luis Henrique Dieter Jr., CEO of Bexis Bank. Uh, so continuing on, there are a variety of complex financial and payment systems that still require 210 million Brazilians to do things in person or through multi-step banking processes that can be delivered more simply via Humble and Humble Hub software powered by Bex's leading digital payment and foreign exchange engines. The partnership will utilize the full technology stack of Humble products, including the Humble and Humble Hubs applications to deliver faster, less expensive payment and financial services gateways between the U.S. and Latin America. Massive, massive piece right there. What we have discovered in the Latin American market is that both domestic and cross-border transactions are unnecessarily complex, said Michelle Rivera, Vice President of Global Partnerships of Humble. We're proud to be working on these high-speed rail solutions to with Bexis, who is recognized leader in banking and foreign exchange solutions for Latin America. So as you can see right there, a massive piece, a massive company that they're going to be able to work with. And, you know, that is going to be one thing that they're truly trying to accomplish in Q1 of 2021 is the fact that they're trying to, one, reach out and go after other acquisitions, or they're also trying to find good partnerships. Um, and this is definitely one of those that they found early on enough in November. Um, so continuing on, November 24th. So as I, like I said, you're going to start to see some dates kind of compounding, and there's a lot of good information in this. So November 24th, Tesoro Enterprises announced today that Singapore-based Cyberbeat, a leading digital payments and financial technologies company uh, led by veteran digital payment industry executives of the Asian Pacific region, has made a strategic investment into Humble LLC. So now you're talking across the world. You're talking over in Singapore. Um, and so you're starting to see this thing expand pretty internationally. The cash investment is consummate with a new partnership in which Cyberbeat gains the non-exclusive rights to sell, distribute, and deploy Humble and Humble Hub's technologies into key verticals in Asia, Pacific, and calendar year 2021 and beyond. So a big step coming in 2021 for this company. Cyberbeat's digital payment platform is uniquely positioned to address a vast Asian Pacific based clientele uh, that fits with the key vertical of Humble including banks, financial services, telecom companies, and national payment institutions. 
And so obviously we understand exactly what Humble is, but I'm going to dive in just a little bit more because each one of these articles provides a different perspective. So it says Humble is a provider of the Humble mobile wallet and Humble hubs merchant services software, which is being developed by uh, accommodate the migration of by governments to digital forms of their national currency, as well as a key functions like cross border um, remittance, foreign exchange, bill payments and leading products for, from smartphones. I think a big piece that you're going to see is that it just gives the ability to to do this from your phone. And we understand that a lot more people do a lot more transactions from their phones. Um, so that's absolutely amazing to see. The strategic partnership enables Humble to explore sales and installation expansions through Cyberbeat into operating markets such as Singapore, uh, Myanmar, uh, Nepal, India, Vietnam, and Pacific Islands, reflecting over a 1.5 billion consumer and merchant opportunity. Cyberbeat executives have had a proven track record for implementing and offering digital and traditional payment solutions of U.S.-based partners such as Visa, MasterCard, American Express, into the Asian Pacific and Pan-Indian markets. We have seen a number of technology cycles over the decades at Cyberbeat. The national migration to digital forms of IDs, money, payments, and financial service products is the most exciting one yet. And, you know, I would have to honestly agree. Um, this is going to be absolutely exciting. And we believe that Humble Brand will achieve mass penetration in this region given its flexible technology solutions and architecture, stated Cyberbeat CEO Rajan R.S. Neron. Uh, so hopefully I pronounced your name correctly. Uh, we view this opportunity to establish this global relationship with a proven winner in the Asian Pacific region, a significant achievement for Humble in the coming year. The Cyberbeat team has helped Fortune 500 brands expand their footprint into the region for decades, and we hope to be a part of that legacy during the next digital transfer transformation cycle, said Karen Garcia, VP Major Accounts for Humble. You know, I think that they're being very strategic when they are, you know, reaching out to these companies. I mean, you talked Bexis, now you're talking you know, Cyberbeat, and, and there is some more. So I think you're really seeing a company that is making very good ties. And right there, if, if they're reaching out and, and expanding footprints for Fortune 500 companies, th this is a true, per, uh, you know, company that is has amazing ability. So those are the things you want to see and, and definitely exciting. December 1st, so again, a very close date, some more amazing news. Uh, Tesoro Enterprises announced today that Humble has delivered its first live transactions in Mexico market. The event was recorded during a production of a Humble brand video in Baja, California border region over the weekend. Um, Humble was born here in the border region of San Diego and Mexico, specifically because of the problems families regularly experience when moving and using money across the borders. The current opposition or yeah, options are expensive and inefficient, said Michelle Rivera, Humble Vice President of Global Partnerships. Unlike U.S.-only mobile wallets like Venmo and Zelle, we design Humble so that it can go along with customers and merchants into places Latin America, enabling them to transact with each other seamlessly in a new digital economy. So really kind of making an impact in places where it's not readily available. Humble commissioned a video crew to walk through the variety of market problems that it is addressing with its design of Humble, Mobile Wallet, and Humble Hubs, merchant solutions in the United States and Baja, California, Mexico. In the Humble brand video, which will be premiered at December 9th investor call, beta testers are seen transacting within the Humble Mobile Wallet to digitally send, receive, and exchange currencies across the border, as well as paying and tipping tra uh, transacting with merchants. Um, you know, I actually have seen that video and it's actually posted on their website, I do believe. Um, and that's actually another piece that really caught my eye was um, they started really kind of pushing this, you know, video out and getting it out to people. And that's kind of another reason that I was like, hey, I kind of want to do a video on this company. I think there is a great vision here and I think that they really are going in a good direction. So in addition, Humble showcases financial technologies such as USD stable coins, which enable Latin American customers to avoid domestic currency fluctuations by holding their money in US dollars on blockchain in Humble mobile wallet. The company also demonstrated its Humble Hubs point of sale um, solutions for merchants in Mexico designed to as assist millions of cash only Latin American merchants 
with a seamless migration to digital economy. Humble Hubs enables merchants to accept major credit cards such as Visa, MasterCard, American Express via its contactless point and pay solutions, as well as text orders, mobile payments, uh, tipping, and local deals, ratings, and reviews. So very, very, you know, it makes life simpler in a lot of ways for a lot of different people. And that's what I think is the biggest piece. Um, And we're going to dive a little bit more into this. Humble instantly makes life easier for me, my business, and my customers here in Mexico, said Fernando Servas, founder of Tours in Baja, a Humble pilot test partner and a lead affiliate sales representative in the region. Being able to pay people for goods and services digitally with Humble enables my customers to spend more time enjoying the trips and less time seeking out ATMs and cash payment options everywhere we go. And that right there is a big piece too. You know, if you're able to just do a quick transaction, pass the money to the next person, you know, maybe you are just wanting to tip for a ride, or maybe you are just wanting to pay for a, we're just gonna use the example, a bus, hey, here you go, and it transactions. Those are the type of simple things that you would like to be able to do. December 17th, so like I said, compounding news, very quick, very, you know, right at one after the other. Tesoro Enterprises Inc., which will soon be renamed Humble Inc., announced today the pilot launch of Humble Studios, which will give global small business merchants the opportunity to better connect their goods to online shoppers via curated shops on the Humble Marketplace. You know, I didn't think it could get better. It just got better. Humble was built to better pair customers and merchants in the digital economy. We've discussed this multiple times now, and this is just one way that it's going to take it even a step further. I'm really excited to see this. Humble will accomplish this through Humble mobile applications for cash-intensive regions, as well as through the Humble Marketplace, which connects merchants to online global markets. Humble Studios will allow global merchants in areas such as art, clothing, jewelry, fashion, soft goods, and other merchandise with the opportunity to create authentic online shops within the Humble Marketplace. Sounds like they're kind of, you know, taking a little bit of Shopify's kind of unique setup and they're implementing it into their, you know, their system. Uh, It says Humble Marketplace as well as save up to 50% on listing fees versus other online shopping portals. Humble Studios was created out of the consumer's desire for inclusive and authentic experiences through a convenient online platform with global merchants. We want to connect small businesses from around the world and bring them into everyone's home, said Jennifer Edgerton, VP of Omni Channel at Humble. The global merchants who will be using our Humble mobile app in stores were also looking to connect their offerings to other uh, broader online global markets, which in Humble Marketplace, explained Karen Garcia, VP of Major Accounts at Humble. I mean, it sounds like they got a lot of people in place here. Humble Studios will also serve as a platform for the development of Humble Pay, web modules, faster checkout integrations, merchant affiliates, and marketing programs for small businesses. A just massive, massive piece uh, just to add to what you're trying to accomplish. Um, and, and obviously, it'll be very, probably very fluent and it'll be very transitional once you're, you know, using the apps and everything like that. It's exciting to see everything that is housed under Humble. Um, and so I'm really excited to see everything that this company is capable of doing and beyond into 2021. Like I said, they have a ton in place um, and you know there's gonna be multiple videos done on this company and, and, and this is just kind of cracking the ice, really in an informative video of what this company is doing. Now we've come to my favorite part of any video and that is chart breaking down time. So let's swing on over here and see what this chart is all about. Now we're looking at ticker symbol TSNP to Soro Enterprises and like I said, it will be merging um, here very soon. So basically what we're looking at is going to be a three month chart. It opened today at 17 cents. <laughs> yeah, we're a true penny stock here. High was 17, basically 17.5. Uh, it's low was 15.3. Volume was 36.37 million. It's market cap is 43.64 thousand. 52 week high is 36 cents. 52 week low is zero. And it's average volume is 219.6 million. That, you know, I like to see that average right there. Now, like I said, this is a three month chart. It closed today at 16.8. It was up 10.33%. Now, this chart, and I started really providing a lot of that information. You know, I gave you the Forbes 500 uh, discussion in addition to the watch list. 
Um, but really a lot of that information I started to provide you started around the middle of November. And, at, and that correlates to exactly what we're seeing here um, in the chart. So middle of November, um, you're starting to see a spike. And then through that entire trend of all that information I provided, it was able to hit its 52 week high. Since then, it's definitely kind of come back to reality. It's had a pullback um, there for a while. It did look like there was going to be somewhat of a resistance and it kind of leveled up, you know, came back down a little bit more. This is a penny stock. There's going to be no question a lot of volatility. There's going to be a lot of ups and down days. There's going to be a lot of people getting in and out. And, you know, when things like the 52 week high occurs, you know, a lot of people are probably going to be taking profits. It is a penny stock. But there is a huge future for this company, and I gave you a ton of information. I've talked a lot, but I probably could go on more and more and more really about this company because truthfully, there's just that much more that this company is trying to accomplish and really has, like I said, a vision for where they want to go. So I believe in this company. I do currently own 4,000 shares in this company. I am looking to potentially add more. Um, I like the vision like myself. I think the business model will be very good for what they're trying to accomplish And you know, I'm excited. I truly am I appreciate you guys swinging by and checking out this video It absolutely is going to be amazing Strap in and enjoy the ride if you want to if not slap this on your watch list And you know, I think this is something that is worthy of being on people's watch list at the least I do want to remind you guys, I am not a financial advisor and anything I say in this video is for pure entertainment purposes only. And I sure hope I provided that today. Pure entertainment. You guys know how I do it. If you like this video, smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And if you enjoy the content because I'm going to keep the content flowing, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, have a good day.